In this video, we compare a cheap RC to an expensive one. <laughs> we go to the moon. Oh, wow! And for a burnout. Do you want to get rich quick? Then buy a lottery ticket and hope for the best. If you want to get rich for sure, you have to provide either a product or service of value. I've spent the past 10 years of my life trying many different ways of making money online. And by far, the quickest and easiest way that I have found is by selling on eBay. I make over $100,000 every single year by selling simple items like this. And I've helped hundreds of people make thousands of dollars every single month. So if you want more money so you can buy more toys, buy a nice house, or quit that dreaded nine till five, then click the link down below and I'll show you how. Guys, in this video, we're gonna compare a thousand dollar RC car to a hundred dollar RC car. So for the expensive one, we've got the Traxxas Unlimited Desert Racer. Now these come in around about $700, 700 pounds, something like that. So by the time you've got your batteries and your chargers, you're probably looking at the best part of a grand. So moving over here, we've got this little guy. And this one here, it comes all in with all the batteries, the only thing it doesn't come with is four AA batteries. It comes with everything else, charger, battery for the car. Uh, you're looking at around about $100, 80 pounds, something like that. So obviously this one's gonna be a lot better. But you know, for someone first starting out in a hobby or someone not wanting to spend a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars on something, uh, can you still have fun with something cheaper? Or even if you've got like a younger child that wants to take part in the hobby and you don't really trust him with something as fast as this, this will do like 50 mile an hour. Um, can you still have fun with this? So in this video, we're gonna find out. Subscribe. So they are both fairly similar platforms. So coming up front, they both have double wishbone suspension. And then coming around the rear, they both have a solid live rear axle. Now this one here has got a locked rear diff. This one here has an open rear diff, meaning there's a differential in there. What I normally like to do on these sort of cars is open it up and put a silicon ear plug in there. I've got videos on that. And what that does, it kind of jams it up and gives it more like a solid rear axle feel. It's also worth noting that this is completely stock, how it comes out the box. This is almost stock, but it's got a few little modifications. So I've put these RPM rear arms on there because the stock arms used to brake quite often. Got this aluminium disc brake uh, stroke wheel hexes because the standard ones I used to strip off quite often. So I'm going to put a link to where you can get these from down below. And also I've got a steel centre drive shaft in here because the stock drive shaft I broke quite a few and it's a bit of a peak changing it every time. So I'm going to put a link to this drive shaft down below too. So performance wise it's not really upgraded, just a couple of little things to make it a little bit stronger. Alright, let's go. Alright, just got here. Stem's going to be driving the Lipton. Got Pat over there fixing his X-Max. Gearbox so what we want to do is just see if, a, if this dirt cheap one over here can do half of what that one can do. Does that mean I can try and break it? No. My stem's flat out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to go running, hold on. Right, flat out. Oh my god, that moves. He is, it's like giving it to a 60 year old, he's just flat out everywhere. <laughs> you wouldn't think that this bloke's got a hobby shop, would you? He's got a model shop, but this is how he drives RC, he's just flat out everywhere until it crashes. Uh, zero control, just flat out. Look at him. Yeah. Get a just call it flat out RC. It's just montage of montage of you crashing all the time. It's just, it's just constant crash. Worse than me. Go flat out, try and keep up. All right, so first challenge is who can get over this rumble strip. Yeah. Oh, straight over. All right, let's try the UDR. Yeah. There we go, straight over. No, sorry, dude. You can watch. All right, so nice slow crawl. Yes. That's just what about this one? That one? Alright. That's not getting up that is it. Ah, tumble wumble. Oh. Oh, and he's done it. He's done and he tumble wumbles off. Oh no, we got zombies.
All right, can Stemps one get up the slide? I'm going to blast it, all right? Go on, then flush out. Oh, beautiful. Was it good? Yeah. Oh, I missed it. Oh, we got zombie apocalypse, guys. Run, 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 stem, back, zombies. <laughs> oh, here we are, new locations coming down Pat's favourite street. Ah, <laughs> oh, we just got here. It's got a lock on it. Ah, oh, someone broke something. One of the items of the equipment has been damaged. We are sorry, but we need to safety reasons. God, health and safety has just gone stupid. Alright, new location. <laughs> Tumblewumble. This big old drift for days. Oh, what's Pat doing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, we're in. All right, we've got another slide. Let's see which one can get up it. Here the yard a bit wide. Oh, uh oh, I made a mess of it. All right, see if Tim can get up this one. Ah, oh, here it out off the end. All right, mine don't fit over there, but it does go up next to it. Oh, I yeah, Steve tried that, but it didn't work. Hey, I yeah, Steve tried that, it didn't do anything. Uh, nah. Nice. <laughs> oh! Yay, yeah, she made it! Hey, look, that one's a bit more wider. Set me up then, Stem. Oh, Stem, set me a challenge. There you go. The challenge up there, up there, up there, and down there. Ah, oh, look at that, easy. Oh, that's gonna get some grip on this rubber, isn't it? Oh, maybe not. All right, Stem says, what about up it? Easy. Oh, I can grip on that wood, boy. Oh, I did a minute ago. Look at that, crawling straight up, not a problem. All right, can the little one do it? Oh, we're gonna need a bit of momentum. Bikini. Oh, it's up. Coming up to the slidey section. Hey, he does it. With a little tumbly wumbly at the end. Hey. Tim's gonna give it a round two. Round two. Oh. Hey. Here we go. Hopefully, we won't destroy the WL toys. <laughs> Out of his mouth. Look, he's eating it, isn't it? That could be a funny thumbnail. That's a wicked thumbnail, actually. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh oh. 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 Way. <laughs> that was a chassis slammer. It cut out. That went a lot higher than I expected it to. I wanted to land it on that down slope, but it's nowhere near. When did my cut out? Right. Just come and plug, that's it. Back in action. <laughs> oh! oh. What you put out there? <laughs> Can I waste it to the end? Yeah. Do you reckon? Yeah. Hold on, let me line up. You gotta go over that as well. Yeah. Oh, so you got you gotta go over each, you gotta go over that, over that, over that, and then land on top of that one. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, three, two, one, go! 
Oh, oh, stacks it. Oh. <laughs> Hey! Oh, don't know. Look, it just falls out, and then you land the oh. jump hard, it just flies out. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I can see. Ow. That's it, Richard. Dude, <laughs> come on. <laughs> that's a Kev move. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, that's what you do. Makes me a fun wrong. Does Kev not do that when I'm doing something? <laughs> ah, Kev? I do do that yeah. when I'm doing it. <laughs> Oh, you're not going for it. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. How did that survive? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. What happened there? How did that survive? <laughs> <laughs> okay, do that again then. <laughs> Good time, bro. I think you should do that again. Oh, plastic coming off. Something's off. Something's off now. Uh oh, that broke it. <laughs> All right, I finally busted it. Broke the little battery cover. Did you get it on camera when it went up? Yeah, let's do it again. No, no, it's done. I don't want to. I don't want to completely kill it. Oh, Pat's giving it some. All right, I do say don't use it about this bottom tray on, but because all this fell apart, look, I kind of had to. It's a broken battery door, and tractors do say you shouldn't run it without this. So that's what happens when you run it without that. But the reason I run it without that is because the wiring's all come out, not to plug it in without it. But man, that took a beating, man. Look at it, nothing wrong with it. <laughs> that rubber just came off. <laughs> You're a bit better now. Oh! Oh! Carnage everywhere. All right, so next we're going to find the WL toys. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do stress testing with this, Kev. Ah, oh, not overly. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a bit of pop there. Oh. oh. That's a oh, that, was, that was a lazy one, wasn't it? I'm fucking really up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the trick is to get it flat out. Yeah. <laughs> all right stems go here's our stem owner of a model shop hasn't got a clue how to race them <laughs> that's it hobbyhub.net check him out destroy your own rcs <laughs> uh oh here comes maxine Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Burn out! 
<laughs> you guys wait until Stempy gets that big nitro out. Oh my god, there's not going to be nothing left of that. Is that going to be on a live stream getting that going? Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Pat. What happened here? Is it supposed to look like that? That's stage, that's that's stage one rally, that mate. Oh. <laughs> that's an extra 20 horsepower. Yes. All right, so back at the shop. Let's have a little look to see how both of these cars took the abuse. So you've already seen the damage on this one. It's just a little battery tray underneath. So relatively cheap repair and it was kind of my fault for breaking it really because I ran it without this bottom tray on here and they do say you're not supposed to run it without that but one of my connections come undone from inside here and I kind of had to bypass the cable around so I couldn't run that cover on there so it was kind of my fault why it broke but anyway moving on to the WL toys there's absolutely no damage on this whatsoever it took the abuse absolutely perfectly i mean looking at the body shell we've got a few splits and a few cracks in the body but mechanically there's absolutely nothing wrong with this it's absolutely in perfect mechanical condition looking underneath absolutely no damage anywhere at all so obviously it's not really a fair comparison to compare something worth a hundred dollars to something worth a thousand dollars so obviously that one is a better rc it's definitely more fun but for the price i mean i really cannot fault this thing I mean, for somebody first starting out in the hobby, or maybe for a younger child, these things are absolutely epic. And, you know, I'd, I'd get a load of fun out of this as well. I mean, obviously, this is more the sort of thing that I would go for, but I still have a whole load of fun with this. And the durability, I, I cannot get over the durability of these guys. They really do take an absolute beating. And I might have just got myself a racing drone. So there's going to be an unboxing and a review and probably loads of crashes on this channel soon. Subscribe. So if you're interested where you can get one of these from, I'm going to put a link to that down below. So